Runners, you are listening to Treadmill the World. Buenos dias, runners. Uh, we are back together to comment this new video. Uh, we are back in Lima, Peru, and we're gonna run together for um, 30 minutes, uh, about five miles, uh, five kilometers, sorry. And uh, it's gonna be great, <laughs> unless we've got a bad forecast, as you may see right now. Um, well. That's the first thing you see when you arrive in Lima. It's the forecast. The forecast is always, always, I mean, mostly like this. It's always cloudy. It's not raining and it doesn't rain that much, but it's very cloudy. You've got, yeah, the clouds are very low and uh, that's where you go. Uh, why? Just because of the topography of the, um, of Lima, where it's been built. Uh, like a few kilometers away of Lima, you've got uh, the mountain, the great mountain, the Andes, and um, they are getting way high. So the, the clouds, usually when they come from the, the ocean, they're just stuck, stuck on the mountain, you know, like this. And um, and you've got that kind of weather that stay over the city all the time. So that sucks. Yeah, that sucks for them. But they're used to. They're used to. Uh, another thing you may see is the colors of the sand. It's quite uh, yellow. It's quite dark, darkish, yellowish. Yeah, it's almost brown, almost brown. Uh, it's not like uh, in Cancun, it's not like in Thailand or South Africa or even in California. It's, it's quite, yeah, it's quite darker. Uh, well, that's a matter of taste. You like it, you don't like it. Doesn't matter. Uh, what do you got? Here we are in the Costa Verde beaches. So that's mean you've got many beaches, one by one, one after the other one. And like, let me check, you've got uh, the Barranco, the Chorios. Actually, we started uh, from the Chorios beach. Uh, you've got the beaches of Miraflores and Lima and so on and so on. It goes all the way. You can go up to <laughs> Alaska if you want to go straight. But we are going to stay in, uh, we're going to stay in, um, in Peru today. We're going to stay on those beach. We're going to run to go there. Uh, 5k, so three miles for about 30 minutes long for this podcast. And I'm gonna show you around, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of Lima and those beaches. All right, so let's start. Uh, first, if you come here to enjoy the ocean, well, be prepared, get a wetsuit because it's freaking cold. <laughs> It's freaking, freaking cold, unless you're born in uh, Alaska or Canada, North Canada, and you get used to this uh, colder water because the current, you know, comes from the Alaska and, and goes down all the way down up to Antarctica. So it's freaking cold to, to swim. I really need a wetsuit if you're not used to. Um, people up there are quite used to. Well, that's all right for them. It's okay for them. So as you may see right now, we've got the cliff. And on those cliffs, that's where I ran. I ran for the for the, my first video in Lima. Uh, that was a Costa Verde. You've got a, it's green and it's pretty nice. It's, it's, it's long, yeah? it's about, uh, you can run at least 10, 10 kilometers, right? And you get down, you pass the, there's actually, I don't know if you see it now, but I'm gonna show it to you later. You've got the, there's a highway between the beaches and the cliff. And that's not pretty at all. It's quite uh, uh, noisy as well. If you stay further from of the cliff, it's quite, uh, yeah, it's quite, yeah, noisy. Uh, what else? Uh, those cliffs, see, they go up and then you've got the capital of uh, Peru, Lima, right here, the old capital of Lima. 
So some people say that's the only uh, capital in South America uh, built in front of the beach, uh, in front of the ocean, sorry. And, well, no, that's not true. Uh, because you've got uh, other capital like, uh, let me see, you've got uh, in Argentina, you've got in Paraguay or Uruguay, I can't remember which one. So th there's many of it. There's That's not the only one, but that's that's a saying in, in South America. That's the only one, but I don't think so. It's not, it's not that. It's not the only one to me. So uh, what else? Uh, it's a pretty good spot if you want to do surfing, if you want to do kite surfing as well. That's the place to be. You've got a long shore break. Um, yeah, mostly uh, all the year, but the best first time to come is during the winter time. So remember, we are in the southern hemisphere, so that means you have to. I mean, the, the season are upside down, so it's winter for them. No, winter, it's like the autumn right now for them. It's the beginning of the winter, and uh, it's going to end in uh, September, October, and it will be spring for them, and for us, it right now, it's summertime. So that's different. So we are going straight to see uh, nearby the, um, the highway, as you may see, uh, the beaches. The, this beach actually is a uh, it's famous one it's uh, it's called Chorillos but uh, it's pretty empty actually when I run there it was during the weekday so that's maybe why it's it's empty today I was all by myself um, what else you can do oh yeah you can do also um, uh, paragliding from those cliffs and you just jump and fly all over the um, the beaches, but that's quite nice. So as you may see, um, there's no much um, infrastructures uh, built right now. Uh, the, the city just started to upgrade and improve all the coastline of Lima and it takes time, it takes money, uh, it takes both. Uh, remember, uh, Peru is not a um, rich country so they do one time out of a time and takes time will take time maybe in five years will be will be finished who knows and will be very good very good because I saw some like you know I saw some picture of it uh, what they're expecting to to build over here and it should be nice it should be nice it should be like uh, like the coastline of California um, in Los Angeles you know if you go from Redondo Beach up to to the airport, I mean to, to Redondo, Santa Monica, and so on. If you go to Malibu, it's it's yeah, it's quite developed over there. And so, so you see, you've got a sidewalk, you got a bicycle line as well. Then you've got the highway dressed next to, you. and that sucks because even if you do sports, even if the city improve it. Um, they cannot get rid of the, the highway because there's no space. So you have to share with the cars and with the bicycle and with all the runners, you have to share the same spot in the same time. So uh, if you do sports once in a while over here, we'll be all right. I mean, pollution, yeah, there's pollution, but that, that would be all right, that would be okay. If you run there, if you run your bicycle over there, every day uh, that might be a problem to to health that might be a big problem for it because see see how the never stops it never stops it's it's quite crowded yeah it's quite crowded uh, okay so let's go so let me check a little bit uh, more information see there's some people say there's some sellers on the beach you can buy some and chips and chorios and and drinks as well. Um, see how people are dressed? They are cold. <laughs> they are cold, uh, as I told you, because uh, the season are upside down here. So it's a bit chilly today. Actually, it was not that chilly uh, when I ran there. It was about like uh, 15 degrees Celsius. 
So that's it's not that cold. It's perfect. It's perfect to it's perfect for um, for a runner. But yeah, if you want to enjoy the beach, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not a good weather. Uh, oh yeah, you can do also. Um, yeah, I told you it's a big big spot for surfing. So and also um, uh, stand up paddle. So you can rent there if you don't have any. You can go and rent. Pretty cheap. Yeah, very cheap. Like you can rent um, SUP or maybe a surfboard. Like for let me remember, it was around uh, less than eight dollars. Yeah, seven euro, eight dollars for one hour. And like 15, yeah, maybe 15 for the half day, so it's quite good. Oh, see that guy? It's not a circus, they're training. <laughs> um, they were way better than me with this because I, I tried when I was little, but I never make it. I really never make it. I never understood my arms juggling like this. Yeah, never try. Let me know if you, if you know how to do it, if you have got a way to, to improve your thing. Um, what else? Uh, let me check. Um, you've got some restaurant as well. There's no many. There's no many restaurant. <laughs> they say there's. there's. I saw maybe uh, maybe maybe four. That was the maximum I, uh, of restaurant I saw. But there, uh, it was not not. Trust me, not a lot. That's empty beach like this. Uh, all the way under the city of Lima. Yeah, and especially if you go running over there at night time or you know at the sunset or sunrise, uh, with the forecast, it's pretty, 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 pretty dark. So it's not a good mood actually. It's not. It's not the best place. To, I mean, I run. A lot of places but that's not <laughs> that, that's not my best but uh they don't have any choice i mean you cannot change the weather actually we're doing i mean we're doing change the weather right now but hopefully uh, maybe it will be get it better for them and but they're used to so it's their city it's their country so they're used to but for me it was like a bit of was not the best one, but uh, the Costa Verde was better, not the beaches, not the shore. Yeah, the beachfront was not that great, actually. So what else? Um, as you see the cliff is right there, up there, um, you've got some new building. You've got the old Lima. It's more further inside the city. Um, I mean, it grew up. You know, it grew, it grew, it grew, it grew, it grew, and right now it's a brand new building. Um, it's quite a, actually, it's quite a, um, an expensive district over here in uh, Costa Verde. If you have a, a flat, an apartment over there, that's mean you've got some money to yeah to live with because that's expensive also. Oh, uh, I just I just saw a sign. Um, there's uh see the waves breaking on the way uh sometimes uh, because peru is located now nearby like a fault uh you've got uh earthquake and that's mean if you got earthquake uh in the ocean that's mean you've got tsunami yeah they have the tsunami uh, so that's mean could be dangerous anytime so you've got way to you, you've got exit way to go up just in case uh, you you hear the that tsunami I mean, emergency sound um, ringing all over the beaches that's mean you have to get up there as quick as possible and you've got um, some stairways to get over there but first you have to cross <laughs> the highway. That's why it sucks. Uh, this highway sucks too much. Yeah, it does suck too much. I mean, look at it. <laughs> look at it. There's just yeah. There's no crossover bridge. I mean, there's there are some, but not a few. That's mean you have to run at least uh, 
few kilometers, depending where you are to, to get up there. And if you're not there on time, uh, and the wave is coming, see, on the, the left side, um, I don't expect you to survive. <laughs> You'll be crushed on those cliffs right their way and you'll be sucked in the ocean uh, as the ocean go back so you're dead yeah you you you're damn dead so remember when you're visiting lima remember this could happen to you this could happen to anyone uh, they don't predict oh see the guy it's an acrobat yeah one, two harm, one a harm. Whoa, he's tough. Yeah, I guess he's practiced more than me. <laughs> can you know? I can't even stand like this straight. Uh, my daughter, yeah, she knows how to, but uh, she's more flexible than me. I'm more like a chicken trunk, like a log. <laughs> uh, I fell. Yeah, ah, one more runner. We've just crossed the first runner. And actually, I didn't cross many that. Yeah, usually, as I told you before, um, people prefer to run on the higher cliff. Um, you've got, it's really nice up there. Ready. Actually, they did, they really did a good work over there, up there. Um, it's spacious. It's, uh, You've got uh, plants, you've got trees, you've got long line, bicycle line, you've got running line. Uh, you can all share together, it's no problem, it's not that crowded. And you've got a view as well, you've got a better view than right here. See, right here, looks like I'm running under, like somewhere under construction <laughs> work. <laughs> I mean, it's not, no, it's not the best one I ever, I ever run, yeah. But I've been too, I've been there, so okay, I know that. I can, I can talk about it now. I don't like people, you know, talk about things that they never try or never went to. Uh, well, that's, that's stupid, that's nuts. Now I can give you some advice. I give you, can give you myself on it uh, doesn't mean it's right or it's wrong but it's mine because I've been there I saw it uh, it's like uh, the old Roman saying uh, been there so there and I can't remember <laughs> a third one <laughs> it's a long time yeah since I left uh, uh, high school and university yeah long time in yeah, a long time in California. Uh, it's more than 30 years now. Not, not, not more, but at least 30 years in LA. No, when I left there, it was 96. I was in California, I guess. 96, 97, yeah. Yeah, because 97, I was doing my drive in military. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks for a while. For a year. For 14 months, I did my drive. But... <laughs> That was the time. Nothing to complain about it. Everybody had to do it. And I did it. Uh, what else? So we'll see. There's life buildings over. Like containers. It used to be like a restaurant or something renting over here. But, uh, well, there's no much now left. So we're almost. No, we still have like, let me check, we still have more, like 10 minutes, 10 minutes running, yeah, in the left. Um, and I don't know where I am. Sometimes I just run, uh, it's like first gun. <laughs> I just run, I just go straight and see where, where I go. And sometimes I don't even have any idea, I can't recall it. And that's the perfect uh, time here right now. I don't even know where I am. I cannot even describe to you. It used to be, uh, used to be an old building. It used to have like a um, police camp over here. Uh, used to have see a restaurant. 
as well, but I left. Maybe, um, I don't know what happened, maybe due to COVID or the economy or all apart and people left. Just couldn't make any money, couldn't survive on on the rent or whatever happened over here. Seems to be nice. See? And oh yeah, we left. Uh, look, we, we we left the sand, the sand beach behind us. Right now we do have like a rock, you know, like um over shaped rock. Um but how it's called in English. Um You've got this kind of rock in um in England, on the White Cliff of England, you've got those rocks on the floor. And actually, uh, when I was uh, when I was young, uh, I used to go to beach, same kind of beaches. And when it's when there's a storm, see, Policia Nacional del Peru uh, building. I don't know if it's still occupied or not. But, uh, yeah, w when I was young over there. Um, I used to, to play uh, nearby the beach because my grandparents had a house nearby and uh, they had some similar kind of beaches with rocks like this and if you go play <laughs> nearby those beaches when there's a storm watch out your head because you're gonna get some I mean some stones throw to you <laughs> yeah that hurts <laughs> I received some, quite a lot actually, and that hurts, really hurts. And uh, so be careful, but remember, so be careful of the the, <laughs> the flying rocks, the tsunami, and uh, that's, it could be a dangerous, actually, it's, good. it's a dangerous place to, my <laughs> to, to do sports over here. So right here on the, the right side, they've got some, uh, let's see, uh, Salvatare? Uh, I don't know what is it. Maybe it's the army. There's a fisherman here, all by himself, trying to catch. Actually, the fishing is good. It's, it's pretty good here because you uh, you're in the ocean, and the um, the way the 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 beach are made, they are going you know deep and deep right away. So that's mean you've got a, f it's, f it's full of fish. It's not like those beaches where, you know, you have to walk like 100 meters long before getting some <laughs> water over here. Like right here, if you go like maybe two or three meters, you've got water under your neck right away. So that's mean there's um, a foot of, I mean, those, those water are foot of fish and uh, wild fish. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, when I saw this, uh, I didn't know what it was, so I had to go and have a look. And uh, it used to be maybe like an old lighthouse. I don't know actually what it was, because it was in Bache as well. Um, see, you've got like some birds <laughs> standing there. See? It's all fucked up. Yeah, all destroyed. And we're going back to the highway. <laughs> yeah, we're going back sadly to the highway. Uh, but the thing is, um, it was nice to hear, you know, the sound of the the waves crashing on those rocks, on those beach. It's it's different sound than what you expect when it's you know clean sand beach. Uh, I prefer those kind of sound. You know, it's more uh, it's more deep. It's uh, well, that's how I like it. So you see now you 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 can see a little bit. Um, there's a bridge going down on the right side and the left side going down on the highway. So that's mean you've got nearby, you're gonna see nearby a uh, crossover bridge for pedestrian. If you wanna walk over and if you wanna survive, that's enemy. <laughs> or just even, see, there's one here on the right side. But 
you have to cross the highway and there's no there's no way we can do this let me check maybe here no 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 you can't cross here i mean you can't cross but it's illegal to cross uh, hi hey yeah you, we are most over we're nearby see it doesn't look i mean it looks like yeah it does look like white bitches Let's see but it also looks like like under construction just that's not pretty right now it's not pretty it's gonna be pretty for sure in a few years so we have to give them time to build. We are on Estrella Beach now. Um, it's almost, yeah, Estrella Beach. Uh, it was getting better. So I don't know where they started to, to, I mean, the construction, if they start from the north or south, but it looks better a little bit now. Um, oh yeah, I was surprised when I saw those trucks. Those trucks are the trash men. And I no clue why they went there because there's no bin. Maybe they just took some break together and pop or why? <laughs> I didn't see any. I didn't see any big bin or big trash over there. So see, uh, it looks a little bit greener now. I think yeah. I think I think they they, they started to. To improve the, the beaches from the north, I guess, to be. And uh, the thing also is called Costa Verde um, due to the rain, because as I told you before, um, uh, when it rains, you know the clouds, the clouds stay up there because of the mountain, so the rain pours down, and they put some I don't know what kind of plants, like ramping plants, and from the they put it down and it goes up all the way to the cliff to the top of the cliff and uh, it's getting greener that's why it's called Costa Verde Costa Verde in Spanish uh, Costa means coast and Verde means green so the green cliff green, uh, green coast sorry not the green cliff but it's gonna be green it's gonna be green one day because uh, uh, it seems to, to grow fast, so should be nice. Should be nice a couple of years. Give them time, give them time, give them time. Right now, I'm not in the right spot, right time. But uh, it's still better than if you go back to 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. And also, uh, right now, uh, you have to, I did not do politics on those podcasts, but. Uh, you have to remind yourself that the situation, political situation in Peru right now is uh, is t tense. Yeah. Oh, read on the beach. <laughs> read on the beach, like in California, like in Los Angeles. Uh, I don't know which one came first, this one or the one in America. Yeah. Um, right now, uh, the situation is uh, is a big crisis. In, uh, in Peru, uh, I don't know where it started. I think it started during the COVID or a little bit before, but um, they've got some people killed and the situation is quite tense. Uh, I don't get involved, but uh, remember, um, you might get some police control or the army control while you're there. There's some places you should not go as well nearby like uh, parliaments or president's house or some area like this it, it's forbidden especially for tourists and uh, it's also dangerous could be dangerous and also also uh, how should i say you have to remind remember that south america is dangerous yeah 
However, there's no... There's some country better than the other, but usually, I mean, you've got some trouble all the time. So be careful when you are in South America. And Peru is not... I mean, it's part of it, so... Sometimes it can happen some stuff, so be careful about this. I have always some money in your pocket just in case you get robbed. It's better to give few, I mean, few money you have in your pocket than nothing and get stabbed or get killed just for, because you get upset because they don't rob you well. <laughs> so it's better. And also, don't try to talk. I mean, do uh, what they say, what they ask for. It's not worth it. Just a watch, just a phone, just a few monies. I know, no, I know, I know. It's pain in the ass, but uh, it's better a pain in the ass than dying. So be careful, remember. So we just pi passed by, um, see, they, there was a uh, stairways going up, and I missed it. Why? I don't remember. I guess I took the next one. Yeah, I guess I took the next one. I can't remember because this video was shot like a month ago. And uh, why didn't took it? Uh, took it. I don't remember why. And also my arm at the time. You no, know, remember my collarbone was still broken at the time. I still had to wear a sling, so. That's why maybe I took some... I don't remember why I haven't taken this one. And um, we are almost over now. What else could I say about... Let me check the time left on my computer because I'm watching the video as same as you. Uh, we still have a few minutes left, yeah. Yeah, a few minutes left. So... Come to Lima, visit Lima, visit Peru. It's you've got to go Machu Picchu. Yeah, I've been there. Just wow, that's an awesome place to go. Cusco as well. Wow, that's breathtaking. Oh yeah, we arrived. Yeah, yeah, I stopped over there because it was a nice car, old car. All right, guys. Uh, see you next time for next podcast. Bye.